हेलो फ्रेंड्स गुड आफ्टरनून टू ऑल आई एम डॉक्टर कैलाश चंद्र देवरी वेलकम टू माय यूट्यूब सेशन इन दिस टुडे आई एम गोइंग टू डिलीवर अ लेक्चर ऑन थेरिडोसिस व्हिच इज द मोस्ट फैटल एंड मोस्ट डेंजरस डिजीज इन द लाइफ टू सेक्ट लाइक द मलेरिया ऑर्गन डिजीज और द मलेरिया वैक्टोस दिस डिजीज इज आल्सो कॉजेस बाय अ सर्टेन प्रोटोजोन एंड इट इज ट्रांसमिटेड बाय आल्सो वैक्टोस सो द मलेरिया in case of human being is uh, to a very large extent is simulating the thalidosis in case of life stock so welcome to my youtube session i am dr kulash chandra devi and i am a veterinarian surgeon working under the government of odisha so as this is a disease caused by the tick and it is mostly non contagious disease means uh, unless and until there is no vector uh, the disease can't be transmitted from a Uh, affected animal to the healthy animal and this is also a hemoprotozoan disease hem means blood and protozoan means a uh, intracellular organism so it is a hemoprotozoan disease and it generally affects the even footed animals those people on those who have in hooves so affects more domestic and wild ruminants there is four classical symptoms fever enlargement of the superficial lymph nodes and that is your popliteal lymph nodes your prescapular lymph nodes all these are lymph nodes and the anemia and jaundice these four important symptoms the cardinal symptoms that are manifested due to the occurrence of this disease so the organisms lymph uh, replicates both in lymphocyte and erythrocyte in lymphocyte it is fast after lymphocyte it comes to the erythrocyte causes and after erythrocyte it destroys the rbc okay and causes anemia and progressive anemia causes jaundice so this is a cycle and this is and there is an uh, as this disease causes a heavy loss in the production uh, and there is high morbidity and causes the death also animal so high mortality so of its international epigetes which is the apex organization in the veterinary sector who classifies the disease under some sections and it classifies the disease the thalidomide in list b so etiology congenital the causes of the organism or the factors behind the occurrence of the disease so it is i told it is a protozoan a intracellular organism remember this word very very important intracellular organism in this organism it resides inside the cell the in, inside the lymphatic cells or inside the rbc cells so it has it has a stage that is erythrocytic stage that is pyroplasm very important and inside the pyroplasm it is two separate it is uh, if if you are getting the uh, oval or round shape then you do it uh, you must confirm that this is a, a species of under thalidomide that is thalidomide analuta analuta and if we are getting the rod and comma shaped that is thalidomide parva as this organism ex- exhibits uh, various types of shaped so uh, we can tell that this is a pleomorphs means various shapes the coming to the uh, when this organism is uh, under or uh, is in lymphocytes the uh, there is enlargement of the lymphocytes in the body and that is all that is known as cause flu body when the animal is uh, under incubation and you are get an uh, and you collect a samples from the uh, directly from the uh, lymph nodes and you will get this this is i think this picture under was taken under 10x and this is under 40x coming to the next there are many sub uh, species of this organism the thalidomide parva thalidomide arunata thalidomide orientalis thalidomide smithian thalidomide hirsi thalidomide lawrence thalidomide sarginetti out of all these things thalidomide parva and thalidomide arunata it's more prevalent okay in some examinations they have uh, asked which organism of the thalidomide causes Uh, in uh, thalidomide in sheep and goat thalidomide here sheep there is also some synonyms of this disease so generally thalidomide parva which causes the thalidomide 
no knife east coast fever very very important thelte anulata causes btt mobile tropical thrombosis and in some examinations like in uh, in state uh, veterinary service examinations they have at the corridor disease the uh, or the other name of the corridor disease is dias they have to trypanosoma thelaria or suppose malignant fever like this thing they give the options so you have to choose the three so if you see the geographical distribution of this disease we find uh, the presence and prevalence of the thelaria anulata is more as compared to the thelaria parva you see the thelaria anulata occupies almost occupies almost all regions of the asiatic and the european regions as compared to thelaria parva and it is confined to the south african region so coming to the host so i have told the organism generally affects the uh, even footed animals so cattle buffalo and the water box are mostly vulnerable to this disease so coming to the transmission of this disease so it is generally tick borne diseases so bovine tropical thalidosis is caused by the hyaloma hyaloma anonyticum and the east coast fever that is your thalaria anulata the rhipicephalus appendiculus you just see the two ticks and in field condition also you might get and you see this uh, morphology on the microscope you can easily do, uh, differentiate the hyaloma anonyticum and the rhipicephalus appendiculatus this is the whole life cycle of this organism and this organism is, and the ticks generally bites Uh, and eject the organism into the host when it bites on the tip of the ear pinna or any superficial lesions so the uh, organisms enters in the body and first lymphocyte then it sporozoites so after sporozoites there is also the merozoites and finally the organisms uh, excreted to outside okay so this is the whole last finally the organism goes to the rbc and under rbc when it under rbc when there is heavy dextrosin of the rbc there is anemia and finally hemoglobin losses and appearance of the jaundice so there is regional enlargement of the superficial lesions the paroctopic flow under the ear okay in the super in the soft supra scapular lymph node which is present in the scapular region okay and this is the most clinical <coughs> symptom and detected by most veterinarians and para veterinarians there is high fever in certain cases the fever goes up to 105 degree centigrade but in no cases the fever goes up to 106 and if you are getting the uh, fever Uh, beyond 106 then you just suspect this is a case of hypothermia coming to the next slide as there is uh, transient rise in the fever and persistence in the fever there is obvious uh, a sick some dazan and lacrima discharge from the natural orifices uh, there is in the in there is for the oxidates you might get the symptom the corneal opacity of the animal as there is progressive anemia this is the clear cut sign of jaundice and you find this yellow coloration of the conjunctiva your gum the anal uh, mucosa membrane so jaundice symptom is obvious as the as as there is anemia and progressive losses of your uh, rbc so the animal is under immunosuppression and finally it dies so if somebody uh, if someone is telling i have detected or uh, or i have seen a thalidia case then it is totally wrong unless or uh, until you have some uh, lab test you can't say directly that i have so treated a thalidia case and when as a veterinarian i am just suggesting you that when you are going for writing a prescription Never, uh, unless and until you have the lab report you 
period please should not write theleria better you should write suspected for theleria okay then call then under the circumstances on to get a confirmatory result you just prick the needle at the superficial lymph node and draw some uh, lymphatic fluid and also some blood smear also and put it under gunsas pen to ascertain the uh, exact causative organisms so you should just see the organism inside the cell lymph node okay and this is the pleomorphic circuit some are dot some are ring some are comma okay pleomorphs means it has various shapes so if you go to the any molecular level exam examinations you have indirect fluorescent antibody test modern technique like polymerase chain reactions and agarose gel precipitation test agbt test okay so coming to the next so agarose gel precipitation can detect easily detect the uh, one species of the cellular to the, from the other species so pm legion when the animal is there and you have been called for to do the examination this is the obvious chemical sign first i was i have seen and wh- why i do not know in various examinations of your veterinary services uh, this pod sagmata also is a frequently asked questions participation in the enlargement of liver emphysematous lungs and multiple foci in the cortical surface the on, uh, on the co- cortex of the kidney there is multiple foci and there is hemorrhagic like dot doctor structure so different cell diagnosis from your heart disease trypanosomiasis babesiosis and malignant cataract fever this is only your confirmatory result is your blood test or your laboratory test suppose i am giving you the thing on trypanosoma trypanosoma organism when you look under the microscope this is a quietly large organism so this is this type of structure you will get and this is a intercellular organisms not inside the cell it is within the cells this organism is found the babesiosis babesiosis structure is like this okay inside the organism babesia bijemina so only lab test can give you the confirmatory results so coming to the treatment the only the magic therapy uh, is under p pharma one it is under it is totally two five one the package would i uh, mostly it is uh, given a single shot injection and this price is very very high it is around 180 1800 rupees and in certain circumstances we are going second dose of injection so in most of the manuf- uh, most most of the medicine manufacturers they are manufacturing and you calculate just it is coming or 1 ml for 10 kg will get if it is a cough then you should give just 2 ml and and if it is a uh, large animal you just give 10 to 50, 15 ml and then the most commonly preferred drug is your oxytetracycline injection so as it is irritant you should give it Uh, after mixing with the normal saline and this dose can go up to 100 ml also if it is the uh, body weight of the animal is around 4.5 quintals or 5 quintals then you should give it 100 120 ml so along with that you have to give some hematopoietic uh, drugs that stimulate the production of the rfc to recover the animal from the blood losses or your jaundice so as it is a uh, disease caused by your tics so psycho so the control and of the tic is very very important so cypermethrin delta methrin flumethrins are there uh, and it's commercially available so give what is for whatever is suitable and convenient for you and the vaccine that is your cavac t it is a theleria or not a uh, strain so the i and there is a vaccine and there is a dialon and this whole uh, pack is always stored in the liquid nitrogen and 3 ml 3 ml subcut 
is given in the neck region okay and this is an and this is this are these vaccines giving you the uh, giving uh, a immunity of three years okay so there are some precautions and there are some cautions that you have to obey so the only the expert as well as the experienced veterinarian can uh, handle this vaccine so i have collected uh, all the information from the sources hope you have enjoyed my video and if i have uh, 